everybody. So instead of doing a whole big thing where I show all of my steps ad nauseum, I thought I would go through this a little bit quicker. So here's the answer key that I published on the classroom. And what I'll do is I'll leave it so that you can fast forward if you choose. And if you want to look at any of the problems in particular because you have a question, do it. Otherwise, you're good. So when I look at the first problem, when I set it up, the first thing I made sure I did was I drew a picture and I decided to make down and write positive. When I pulled the information out, I saw that because it was traveling horizontally, horizontally is really the key to this problem. Because what that means is, is that the initial velocity in the y direction is zero. Now it's really easy to see the word velocity 22 meters per second and plug it in here. But you can't because it was initially moving in the x direction. Okay? Other than that, I bet you were able to handle it. So if you had a question, my guess is it was on this step right here. Okay? You can see my work. Hopefully from there you can figure it out. Number two, a young man's being chased by a grizzly bear. Now, in this problem, it's very similar to the number one that you just did. The only thing that I did differently was that I made up and to the right positive. Why? Just to show you that I could. So again, the key word as you're reading this is that he continues running off the edge. Now, it doesn't say the word horizontally, does it? But if you were to imagine a person running straight off the cliff, their velocity would only be in the X direction. Therefore, V naught would be zero in the Y direction. Other than that, there's a piece of cake. The only other thing I might point out is that I had to be careful with my sign since down was negative, the distance and the gravity were both negative and those two negative signs canceled out. If I ended up with a negative sign underneath the radical, uh, that would mean that somebody messed up the signs. Okay? All right, cool. Next one. There's a problem very similar to the RAMP lab that we've conducted for years here. And hopefully we'll get to do that at some point this year. Um, in this one, it did not give you the velocity, but instead, gave you the distance in the X and the distance in the Y, which actually that should say 1.25. I'm not sure why it's not written down. Disappointing. But either way, the time is going to depend on just the Y direction. And now when you go to plug into this relationship, since the acceleration is zero, velocity is just displacement over time, it's going to be the two meters horizontally divided by the 0.5 seconds it's in the air. All right, next one. Next one. Here I referenced a movie that there's barely any chance that you've seen. Sorry, I'm turning it into an old guy. I'm sure they've remade this movie by now, but here, The Fugitive. Harrison Ford jumps off the edge of a 240.1 meter high hydroelectric dam. She says high. That's a little too high. Calculate the initial velocity in the X direction if he landed 28 meters from the base of the, of the dam. Assume the dam is straight up and down, even though I know it's not. Okay? So, hey wait, this is the same as number three because I don't have VX, but I do have DX. And because they're running off horizontally, the initial velocity in the Y direction is zero. It's only gonna last for one more day. But plug and chug, I bet if you got number three, you should be able to get number four pretty easily. Now, if there was one question on this worksheet that sometimes confused students, number five would be it. And the reason is people, they try to put in all the information, 
when in fact you really can't. It says, in all the classic 80s movies chase scenes, the rooftop to rooftop pursuit of the bank robber always ended with the un undercover cop being too chicken or smart to make the last jump. So the bank robber was running with a horizontal velocity of five meters per second and jumped from a higher roof to a roof eight meters below. First of all, that's like 25 feet. If the horizontal span between the roofs was six meters, that's, that's over 19 feet. Would he make it? Let's look. What I did, I did not plug in the six meters for the horizontal displacement. Instead, I'm going to solve what would the horizontal displacement be and then compare it to six meters. And if it's greater, then he makes it. If it's less, then he doesn't. So I went and did the math and not include the six meters there. Oh, excuse me. Technical difficulties. Yeah. And I found that the person would be in the air for 1.28 seconds, meaning that at five meters per second, they would travel 6.4 meters. And they would make it because that's more than the six meters. But the police officer who could only run 4.5 meters per second. Now, obviously this is an officer DeLuca. He could do it. If a robber could do it, DeLuca could do it. But in this case, the police officer could only jump 5.76 meters. So it's probably a good job that they did. All right. That's all I got. I don't know if that was helpful. I just know that I, I couldn't make you sit through another half hour of me doing these problems because you know what? I bet you got this. I bet you got it. If you don't, take another look at it. All right. Thanks.